Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. Today is going to be a Kylie Cosmetic Lip Kit review on her new shades. I have all three of them and there's going to be a giveaway and a couple dupe options that you might enjoy if you like these shades at the end of the video. So if you wanna enter the giveaway, make sure you watch till the end to see how to enter and what exactly I will be giving away. But if you're interested in seeing arm swatches and kinda of what I think about all three of these new shades, then just keep on watching. So if you guys follow me or watch my videos, you know that the first time I ever tried Kylie Cosmetics was during her birthday edition launch. I had never tried it before and I actually had heard a lot of negative feedback. So when I got the collection, I was actually really, really impressed with a lot of the products. Her cream shadows are by far one of my favorites and I've been wearing it all month. It even made it into my August favorites video. So I was excited to try it one more time, possibly a couple more times if she launches new products. This will probably be like the last time I do just lip kits. But these new shades I was drawn to because it's something that I don't always go towards. I feel like it's very brown based. It's very fall but still very neutral shades. And the only other lip kit I've tried is her birthday one, which was Leo. Now that one, I love, love, love the color, but it was really difficult to apply. And a lot of you guys were saying that her darker shades are more difficult to apply. I am happy to let you guys know that these darker ones, I don't know if she improved the applicator or if she improved the formula, but I feel like these are a lot easier to apply than Leo. However, the darker shades are wearing a little bit weird on the center of my lips like they wear out a little bit quicker so then I have that weird like butthole lip going for you know what I'm talking about when you wear liquid lipsticks so yeah I'm gonna go through all three of the shades kind of tell you guys what my thoughts are on the shades show you arm swatches and give you some other options at the end of what I think might be good dupes if you like the shades in the collection but you weren't able to purchase it yourself or if you just don't want to support Kylie Cosmetics then I can give you some other options Starting off, I have Dirty Peach, and I was really happy with how my package arrived. It arrived very safe, very sound. I wasn't happy with the shipping cost, and a lot of you guys were telling me if you order it outside of the US, not only do you have to pay an extra shipping cost, but you also get hit with customs fees. So I wasn't aware of the customs fees on top of the international shipping. So if you are thinking about ordering these outside of the US, be aware that you might be slapped with the customs fee on on top of the like really expensive international shipping cost. So I did spend just under $200 to buy two sets of the lip kits, one for me to use and review and the other one to give away. This was coming from Oxnard, I believe, which is maybe two hours away from me. Just so you guys know. That is still like one of those things. The packaging is cute. I feel like it's very unique and very well done, very Kylie, but it's not something I'm, I'm like, oh yes, I'm gonna buy it for the packaging, mainly because I think it's not my demographic, and secondly, I think I'm just a little too like sweet versus like edgy, and I feel like this packaging is more like edgy sweet, and I'm more like sweet. <laughs> so, but it is really well done and I respect that. I have to say that this is a very unique shade. I do not have anything in my entire makeup collection that resembles this shade. It's very nude, very peachy, very pale. It's not the most flattering shade on me. I feel like I can't really get away with the really light pink peach shades on my lips. One, my lips are really pigmented, so it just looks a little bit off. And two, it's not the most flattering for my skin tone. However, I think it's a really great formula if you're looking for something that is incredibly long lasting, that's this shade and that you haven't been able to find. I don't love the formulation. I think it's really long lasting and it's really thin and long lasting but I personally find it a little bit uncomfortable to wear. So I have to really, really hydrate my lips before and after applying this product, and I actually feel like my lips can't wear this two days in a row. If I wear it two days in a row, my lips kind of get swollen, and it's just not a pretty sight, and it really just is uncomfortable for me. So if you don't mind that, though, and you want something that's really long-lasting, then this would be totally fine for you. And then some options that I thought were good, not exact dupes, but options that you might enjoy if you liked Dirty Peach, is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat 
in Pink Venus. This is a very peachy pink lip liner. It's very creamy. It's just as good as the Kylie lip liner, except I think it's a better quality and it lasts a little bit longer. More comfortable version of the Dirty Peach, not the exact shade, but a comfortable version that's similar to it would be the Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lipstick in Extra. This is from their new Gen Nude line, and I think this is very, very comfortable to wear. It's not as drying. It's a little bit more hydrating, but it's not as long-lasting either. So sometimes for comfort, you sacrifice the long-lasting wear, whereas Kylie is more about long-lasting and having a thin formula that's not sticky. So that's really nice that it's not sticky, super long-lasting, but it is going to kind of dry out your lips. The next shade is going to be Brown Sugar. I love this. I think it's a really unique shade. It's a light brown. I think it goes on a lot smoother than Leo, even though it's a darker shade. It's going to make my teeth a little bit yellow, personally, but I think it's a really unique shade as well, and it's very, very Kylie. So I really thought this was a great launch and very fun to kind of play with, very 90s. And the two I have as a dupe mention is the Bare Minerals Lip Pencil Gen Nude in Attitude. This is a really good creamy lip pencil. I actually was using this just on its own for a while and you get that really nice matte look. And my favorite kind of similar brownie tone, but it's going to have a better effect if you have teeth like whitening issues. So I have the Jouer Lip Cream in Noisette. This is a lot more comfortable to wear for me personally, and the shade is a little bit more flattering. It makes my teeth look whiter, not yellower. Now, this is definitely going to be more of a true brown. This is brown family, and I would recommend if you have if you're worried about your teeth looking yellow, maybe trying Noisette. I think for the same price, Jouer lip creams are a much better product. It's higher quality, it's more comfortable to wear, it's just as long lasting as the Kylie lip kits, and I just think they're easier to apply as well universally. Oh, and I have 15% off if you use my name, Serene15, and that will save you even more money, and that will make it cheaper than the Kylie Cosmetics one better quality, cheaper with my discount code. The final shade is going to be Love Bite, and that's what I'm wearing today. I really love this shade. I'm not crazy about the application of this shade because it does wear out in the center of my lips, and then I get butthole lip, and I try to reapply it as I get the butthole lip, but then it just gets cr like crusty and gross. So that's my only thing, but I do really love this color. I think it's a really fun color. Very vampy, very 90s-esque as well. And I just really like this. So I will continue to wear this one for filming and things like that. I will have to like reapply lip balm over it to kind of keep my lips hydrated if I wear it all day. One thing I do have to say about these are is that when you open this up, it's going to be really strong. And I mentioned it with Leo, but it's a very strong fragrance. It's very sweet and vanilla-y and also sugary. Whereas the Jouer lip creams smell sweet, but they don't smell as offensive. So these just smell a little bit better. So if you're really sensitive to fragrance, you're probably not going to love the way these smell. But the good news is it does dissipate. So you're not gonna have to have that scent linger on your lips. These don't taste bad. They don't do anything like that would be offensive once they're on the lip other than dry them out a little bit. I know a lot of people can really handle liquid lipsticks. So if you're one of those people, you won't have a problem with Kylie Cosmetics at all. Now, the two shades I would recommend if you like what I'm wearing right now, which is Love Bite, is the Smashbox uh, Always On Liquid Lipstick in True Grit and also the Bare Minerals Scandal. So these two are very similar, I feel like, as the Love Bite one. And then for a lip liner that's also just as creamy as the Kylie Cosmetics one, but a little bit longer lasting, is the Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Pencil in Conspiracy would be a great shade if you like the family of Brown Sugar and Love Bite. So these are just some suggestions and some options when you're shopping around. If you can't afford the shipping cost, if you're outside of the country. Now, I don't hate Kylie Cosmetics and I don't hate these lip kits. I think she's doing a great job. Well, 
her team is doing a great job and the colors are definitely unique and she's coming out with some fun products I don't think the lip kits are as worth the hype as the cream eyeshadows are I think the cream eyeshadows really knocked it out of the park with the birthday edition I hope she actually launches a whole collection of the cream shadows because that is something I would repurchase and that is something I would buy like all the shades of so I really hope she does come out with more products I'm not going to say that she is ripping off ColourPop because I know a lot of people are like well it's just ColourPop and yeah it is ColourPop produces Kylie Cosmetics but she slapped her name on it and she came out with better packaging so that's what we're really paying for and you have to understand that so if you want to support Kylie if you're a fan of Kylie then of course you're gonna to want to support her and pay that premium cost but that's because she's putting her name on it um, if you don't really care about the name then you can totally just buy ColourPop it's like five six dollars a piece and you're and um, they do free shipping over like fifty dollars so that's always something to keep in mind let's face it guys a lot a lot of cosmetics brands use the same labs and just put different packaging and different names on everything I'm not saying it's great what Kylie's doing I'm just not saying it's something that that's that is that sketchy either I never tried the original formula of her liquid lip kits so I can't compare it to the original I did hear rumors that she changed things and I actually think there's proof that she's changed the formulation so um, that sucks because I hear the original formulation was amazing I, I can't tell you guys from experience so I'm just telling you guys what I feel this is my honest opinion my honest review if you love Kylie then yeah go buy this of course you're gonna support her if you want something that's not gonna budge and and you don't care if it's drying again go and buy this it's gonna be great or you could buy the ColourPop version or you can buy some of the more comfortable versions I mentioned here if you really love these shades then yeah I think they're really unique because I couldn't find an exact dupe of any of the shades in my extensive makeup collection um, I'll keep looking and if I find updated dupes I will definitely redo a video talking to you guys about dupes for the giveaway one lucky winner will win this box which is the one that it came in and when you open it up you'll get the Kylie box you'll get the little foam insert you'll also get this little postcard that has Kylie's note on it and then you'll get one brand new lip kit of each shade that I talked about today I haven't even opened these I haven't even touched it so they're brand new all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed to this channel please 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 read everything in the giveaway entry link so make sure you're subscribed to this channel go down to the description box underneath giveaway click on that link it will take you to a separate website and it'll verify your YouTube account and all the other different ways you can enter the giveaway so the main mandatory thing is to make sure you're subscribed to this channel also make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter because that newsletter I only if I send out a newsletter it's once a week and it just kind of updates you guys on what's going on but I do not spam you guys with my newsletter and I don't even send it out every week um, because I don't have something to tell you every week so subscribe to my newsletter Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Do it through the giveaway link in the description box because it verifies your accounts. There will be a ton of extra bonus entries like subscribing to my vlog channel, following me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all those things. Those are not necessary, but those are extra bonus entries to kind of give you an extra boost and the more entries you do obviously the more times your names entered into that random raffle and at the end of the giveaway which will be in two weeks I will go onto the website and click the randomly select a winner It'll, the website will generate a random winner I will contact the winner via email directly the winner will have 24 hours to respond to my email with the correct information once the winner is confirmed I will click on that link that in the description box to announce the winner if you are curious as to who the winner is it will be announced through that website on that widget I will also update the description box with the winner information just the name though I'm not going to um, provide any personal details of that winner because I don't want them to get spammed I've heard a couple complaints about the giveaway link 
Unfortunately, that's the best one for me to be able to make sure everybody has entered properly and that verifies the actual accounts. If you have an issue with that, this giveaway is not is not mandatory. You don't have to enter it. It's just the easiest and most efficient way for me to make sure it's fair and that it's valid, like each entry is valid. Please, please, please do not email me or contact me asking me who the giveaway winner is. I will do my best to get it all done in a timely fashion right after the giveaway ends, but I do not want to announce the giveaway winner until they are confirmed. And if you watch the video and if you read the giveaway terms and conditions on that website, you will know how the giveaway winner will be contacted and announced. So when you ask me who the giveaway winner is, it makes me think you didn't watch this video or read the terms and conditions, which makes me not want to do the giveaway because I want to make sure that even though I say giveaway in my videos that you guys actually like watching my videos and that you're subscribed and watch my videos um, because these are for my subscribers and obviously it will help if like I got more subscribers or if you've been watching my channel but haven't subscribed maybe it motivates you to subscribe but at the end of the day I want to reward those who paid attention and who are actively like watching my videos if that makes any sense if it becomes overwhelming where I get too many comments asking about the giveaway or asking about who the winner is I will start to have to disqualify people based on that just because um, it's getting a little out of control it's not just that it gets out of control it's very very overwhelming for me when I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for everybody so kind of respect that kind of understand where I'm coming from and I will continue to do giveaways I have tons coming up like as one ends another one goes up so just just know that if you didn't win this time or last time there's always a new opportunity and I really appreciate you guys that's why I do these but I hope that it doesn't become like more of a problem <laughs> than a reward and I want to thank you guys for as for supporting my channel. The reason I'm doing another Kylie giveaway is because I saw so many comments about how you guys wanted to try Kylie Cosmetics, but it was just impossible for you guys to try it either financially or um, timing wise. They're always sold out. You guys are at school or at work when she relaunches or just based on shipping costs, like it just becomes too expensive for you. So I'm hoping that one lucky person will get to try them out who didn't get to try it out. And yes, it's open internationally. The giveaway is open internationally. So that's the other thing is like I get all these questions. Is it open international? And I always tell you guys in the giveaway link. So just please try and read that carefully. Thank you for all of those who entered the first Kylie Cosmetics giveaway. I really appreciate you guys entering. I really appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, and supporting my channel. I, if anything, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I started my channel because I really hoped my channel would help motivate you to look and feel your best from the outside in. And if that speaks to you, I'm so happy you found me. If anything, I hope that my video helped kind of like brighten your day and de-stress, help you take your mind off of whatever it is you're dealing with. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to come back and check out all of my videos. I upload new videos five times a week, every Sunday through Thursday. So until next time, I hope to see you right back here and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.